Welcome to another episode of my bike build. Um, I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to be getting into as far as getting into the motor. Um, I found some scarring on top of the cams. Uh, I didn't really have a, uh, a chance last time to check out the top of the motor as far as the cams go or the cam chain. The cam chain looks fine and um, but anyways I'm going to show you what's going on with this thing and uh, I'm probably going to end up having to order some more parts later on down the road for this engine. I was hoping to get this thing just put together and just start running it, but um, unfortunately I was going to have to tear the top part of the bike apart anyway, the top of the motor. I bought a complete rebuild um, gasket kit for the engine itself, and I think I did a video on, last time I showed you guys was the starter uh, the starter clutch yeah and I bought the hub and um, I thought I had all the parts but <laughs> I didn't so but anyways I'm gonna kind of show you what's going on with the cams all right I'm gonna show you the exhaust side first um, so we're on the exhaust side so what do I got going on here is um, I seen some pitting on some of the the cam right here you can see it's kind of wore out it looks a little rough right there it's a little pitting scarring and this right here um, is actually to the uh, tachometer this is your tack gear drive right here and it looks to be stripped out and that's why my tack wasn't working the gear actually looked good when I took it out last year and um, anyways I was gonna go digital with it but I could switch it back to um, analog if I want to or whatever you want to call it so but yeah we've got some some pitting on here um, the exhaust side isn't too bad I mean as far as I go but I do not want to put this back in there like this because I do not want to have to take this back apart so I'm on the intake side and I've already loosened up the bolts uh, these bolts in here that pull the head off. I don't want to get too sidetracked here. Usually these rusty looking ugly bastards right here. Um, a lot of people have a hard time taking those out because they get rusted really bad from the heat and all that other stuff and then the engine cooling back down and the expansion and whatnot. But um, I already put some uh, penetrating oil on there and I got them loose and sometimes what will happen is they'll back out from the bottom of the motor and which really sucks because you end up taking the whole stud out uh, but anyways as you can look on the intake of the cam here on the intake side you can start seeing some a little bit of wear there a little bit of scarring right here and some pitting you see the pits right there and there's some actually right there so I do I do not want to put this motor back together <laughs> or even to try adjusting the valves on this thing with it like that because it ain't going to do me any good. But you can see the good the pit marks in there. Right there is a good shot right there. So, but the cam, the cam chain, so basically what I I'm going to order um eventually um I'm going to order a new cam chain and the cam chain guides down inside here and the cam tensioner um, probably won't do anything with that because it looks like it's in pretty good decent shape it looks like somebody's had this off before because they gasket sealed the hell out of that right there so and I don't think that's OEM but that's what I got going on for right now I've got all of this stuff here I've got these but I loosened up all these and I'm going to pull this apart and the next video I'm going to be doing, um, I'll show you guys the inside of the engine here, the head and everything. And I'm hopefully I'm seeing, when I pull this apart, I'll see cross hatching marks on inside of the head. Because these motors guys are supposed to be bulletproof. They drag race these things. And I'm just hoping that I have better luck because you can see this shit right here. I mean, I don't, I don't want to put this back together like that. Um, I'm not going to. So, anyways, that's where we're at. 
Um, oh, my new place. This is garage here. This is what I got set up so far um, after moving in. I still got some stuff to do, but I've got a lot of shelving in here. Got all, all my parts right here inventory. This whole shelf is full of brand new parts for the GS. My frame is sitting up there. So this is what I, I got after I pulled the cylinder head off. Um, you can see this is exactly how it came off, how clean it is. I don't see any damage or anything on the pistons. They look wonderful. Um, other than a little bit of carbon deposit, they look great. I'm impressed. Uh, cam chain looks pretty good. I am going to replace this. It comes in the kit. So, um, but all these pistons look really good. Pretty much there's no scarring on the pistons at all whatsoever. They don't, they don't even look roughed at all. They don't even hardly look used. I mean, you can, I look at the head bolt studs. I mean, other than a little bit of exhaust right here, that might have been from where that thing was leaking at. Maybe, I don't know, it got hot or whatever, but these pistons look really good. The rings look good. As far as free play goes, I have not uh, I have not measured what these are supposed to be. I haven't gotten that far in the book or reading them, but there's that much play in the in the wrist pin itself, but I'm going to pop the pistons off, take the wrist pins out. I'm going to clean the pistons up, but they all pretty much, oh, shit. Um, anyways, they look real good. You can see the pistons. They look real good. Um, in my opinion, but you can see they're not all gummed up and nasty and shit. You can look down in there and you can see the crankcase down in there and see how pretty clean it is. There is some gumming and stuff down in there. Let me get my light real quick and I'll show you. And then I'll bring you guys over here to the cylinder head. So, I mean, you can kind of see how clean it is down in there. And I'm gonna move this chain guide here. You can look down in there. This is exactly how I pulled this out. I did not clean any of this up. I'm just so stoked on the way this this looks um it looks really good as far as the head goes um if you look at the light you can kind of still see the cross hatch marks in there which is a good sign um these two cylinders here they have a little bit of carbon build up on it like right there i don't know if those are like burn marks or what that is um they don't look scarred or anything i think that's just discoloration from where it might have been sitting but basically yeah so that's what i was telling you where the gasket kind of broke off and that piece over there and then that piece sitting there and then that's the head gasket right there um i'm glad i did kind of take this apart because that way i can replace the head gasket because it's i mean it's you know it's kind of separating a little bit but I got the gaskets for this, I got the gaskets for that. Um, other than this shit right here, which was disappointing, I already pointed this out earlier. Uh, the thing, the motor is great. I'm, I'm stoked and you can tell so is he. He's just like loving life. <laughs> if you watch my videos, please hit the subscribe. Don't forget to hit the little notification bells of upcoming videos and thanks for watching.